Well, another question. How do I control my brain? How do I control my thoughts when my thoughts keep trying to control me? Have you ever been there? I certainly have been. And you know what? It's not an easy task. It's an easy question to ask, but it's not an easy question to answer. The Bible says this, as a man thinks, so is he. So gosh, it's so important what we allow in our ears, allow in our eyes to control our thinking and control our mind. Stinking thinking leads to stinking living. If you're thinking wrong, you're going to live wrong. If you're thinking wrong, you're going to act wrong. And sometimes anxiety that grips your heart can really get you into a place of real discouragement. We need to take control back of our minds. How do we do that? Well, it's called discipline. Yep, that's right. The word that nobody likes. Discipline in our eating, dip, discipline, discipline in, our, in our, our working out and getting ourselves in shape. Discipline's the tough part of life. But Romans 12 says, don't be conformed to this world in our thinking. Don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed, be changed by the renewing of your mind. And gosh, that word there, transformed, means to be renewed like there'd be a renovation, a change in our mind. How do we do that? by concentrating and meditating and thinking and reading the scriptures. That's right, God's word is truth. And when we hide truth in our hearts, we won't sin against God. When we understand truth of what God thinks about us, it'll help us control our thinking. So really is important how you're thinking. You can only control it by putting into practice a disciplined life of studying the word, reading the word, speaking the word and you'll start seeing your thinking will change and when your thinking changes you'll start agreeing with your spirit because your spirit man wants to agree with God and his word so let me challenge you today if your thinking is drifting if your thinking is controlling your life get it back in control you have control over that. You know why? You have the same spirit inside you that brought Jesus out of the grave and he's able to quicken your life. That's what the Bible says. So with that same spirit that's inside of you, take control of your thinking and say no to bad thinking and start renewing your mind with God's word. Friend, you will see a massive difference in the way your life proceeds. As a man thinks, so is he. Let me pray with you right now. Father, in the mighty, glorious name of Jesus, we pray for those people right now listening that are saying, this has been my struggle for life. This has been the fight that I've gone through. In my heart, I love God. In my heart, I want to do the right thing, but I don't always think the right thing. Lord David said he made a covenant with his eyes not to even look on things he shouldn't look on because that can affect the images and the thinking that's in his mind. So God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, break control that's holding people back and let them be free to receive your word and change their focus and their thinking, which will change their living. God, we thank you for that power and we thank you for that freedom. It's in Jesus' precious name we pray. Well, God bless you. God will do a work in you. Change your thinking.